Hello and welcome to December 2023. I hope everybody is busy getting their trading in before the holiday season sets in and the world's institutional traders take leave for whatever holidays they celebrate. It's been a crazy year thus far with the VIX all over the place, but at the moment still at acceptable levels for us currency traders. We've got an indicator from one of our heroes today, so that's always a good thing. Couch in for a few minutes and take it all in. Unlike last week, we left the default settings as they were presented to us, but we did make some changes to the chart and the way we use this indicator. Those details can be found in the blog if you're interested in knowing what we did. We think it's easier, and the fact that we found multiple ways to use this lends us to the fact that indicators can indeed be used other ways than the author intended or others interpreted how to use it. This week, we're going to look at another below chart, zero cross, confirmation indicator. This indicator comes to us from one of our heroes, John Ellers, a concept stemming from his publication, The Quotient Transform, in 2014, this indicator helped provide the onset of a trend, hence its name. It was coded for MetaTrader 4 in 2020, although there are versions for other trading platforms available on the internet. As mentioned, the default settings remain. However, we did remove one of the signal lines to facilitate easier interpretation of the signals. So, ready, steady, let's grab a handful of pips. Alrighty then. We'll start things up with this fresh long signal as it crosses over the zero line. Let's see what this loony Swissy has in store for us. Well, price was pretty unremarkable, but with the smallish ATR, that initial rise would have pulled in some profits before the quick drop right before the zero cross. Maybe the shorts will be in our favor. Nope, that got us nowhere. Some chop in the market bounced us right out with that immediate reversal. No matter, record it in your trusty journal and let's see what the next long signal can do for us. Well, that wasn't pretty. I don't think that quick move to the upside was enough, so you'd have been stopped out. Don't get mad, let's keep going. It's all about the research, right? Well, not great, but there might have been enough of a run down to grab some pips before price decidedly went the other way. Let's keep pressing forward. Okay, a nice smooth rise in price and plenty of opportunity for pips before that swan dive. Here we go. We caught that strong move down and netted another profit before the chop took over. Now, a long signal. Ah. This is an interesting one. On the initial signal, price looked like it may have bounced you out by hitting your stop, but the indicator stayed above zero and moved up into that beautiful Swiss mountain. Because it stayed above zero, your algorithm may have given you another signal to get back into this and take it up for the win. All right, I think we've made our point here. We'll let the last few seconds run out. Nice and wavy, right? We decided on a different pair this week, the Canadian dollar against the Swiss franc. Something a bit different, just to liven things up a bit. We found that even on the default settings, it did an okay job, even with all the chop. Granted, your individual algorithm may have never given you the green light, but we wanted to show you this indicator on something less traded. We believe it's worth your time and effort to noodle around with it yourself and see if you like it. Go get it at the Stonehill Forex Indicator Library at no cost and give it a try. Who knows? You may like it. That's right, Bubba. No can do. We don't offer financial advice, and frankly, you don't need it. Head on over to the Stonehill Forex website and check us out. We think you'll find a lot of helpful resources, a killer deal with Blueberry Trading, and of course, the advanced course. Sign up for the monthly digest and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content. Our only goal is to make you a better trader.